Hey everyone, welcome back to some more esports talk. My name is Hunter and thank you so much for tuning in. This morning we've got another update that just came out as of this morning about the Activision Blizzard situation. And again, as usual, go back, watch those videos. I cannot explain everything. But with all the allegations and lawsuit going around, Jay Allen Brack, that is the president of the Blizzard side of the company, has officially stepped down. We first just got a release from Activision Blizzard saying that Jay Allen Brack is leaving the company to pursue new opportunities. And that was all it said about Brack. The statement led by saying that Jen O'Neill and Mikey Barra had been appointed to co-leaders of Blizzard. Jen and Mike will share responsibility for development and operational accountability for the company. Both are leaders of great character and integrity and are deeply committed to ensuring our workplace is the most inspired, welcoming environment for creative excellence and to upholding our highest game development standards. Jin was a former head of Vicarious Vision Studio and has been with the company for 18 years. She was the executive vice president of development at Blizzard and has helped a lot on the Diablo and Overwatch franchises. Mike originally came from being a senior exec at Microsoft's Xbox division and most recently was the executive vice president and general manager of platform and technology at Blizzard. So more or less, he was overseeing Battle.net. Blizzard also went on to make their own release that included a message from J. Allen Brack. The message said, I am confident that Jen O'Neill and Mike Ibarra will provide the leadership Blizzard needs to realize its full potential and will accelerate the pace of change. I anticipate they will do so with passion and enthusiasm and that they can be trusted to lead with the highest levels of integrity and commitment to the components of our culture that make Blizzard so special. I feel a bit all over the place with Brack leaving and that is because we've seen him in different capacities that are either easy to respect or easy to question. As a reminder, Brack was a part of that panel whose clip was recently shared over and over again, even though it was back from something like 2010, where a female audience member had asked about the possibility of less sexualized female characters and the panel more or less just laughed at her. Brack was also the former supervisor of Alex Afraziabi, who is one of only two people directly named in the lawsuit and who was terminated last year after internal investigation. Investigations. Reportedly, Brack met with him about his drinking and that he had been too friendly towards female employees at company events, but gave Afraziabi a slap on the wrist. For this reason, many people had wanted Brack to step down already for what they would call enabling Afraziabi. Then, if we fast forward to the current allegations, we saw Brack send out a letter to Blizzard saying that the allegations and the hurt of current and former employees are extremely troubling. He goes on to say that he and the leadership team will be meeting with many of them to answer questions and discuss how we will move forward but also mentions that when he talked with bobby about taking this job that one of the first things he mentioned was the revered saint of the brack household and that he disdains bro culture and have spent my career fighting against it and maybe part of me is just being cynical but i don't think i know anyone who has brought up the revered saint of their household in an interview when talking about taking a job position here are my concerns with this situation i would say the biggest is that Brack may or may not just be a scapegoat. This would be an easy way for Activision Blizzard to say, hey, look at this. Our presidents are leaving. The president of Blizzard is stepping down. So we're making changes. We're making those big changes that you guys wanted to see. And of course, ironically, this was right before their earnings call today. And so I'm sure that might have had some sort of effect on the situation or to be able to tell people that changes were in fact coming, despite maybe the problems that they've been having. Some of the obvious other concerns that people have been bringing up is why are two people having to take this position? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's easy to look at it in any direction. Two people better than one. You have more accountability in that top executive position of being president at the company. Why would you not want two people to kind of oversee the entire what I would say pretty complicated situation that they have going on with all this sexual discrimination and harassment allegations that are going around. Again, I want to remain optimistic and say that Mike Ibarra is a good choice. We saw that he was attending the Activision Blizzard walkout and supporting the other employees' voices in that. And of course, seeing a woman move into that position as well, that is O'Neal, is a great move, I would say, with everything that has been going on. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. Wanted to get that out to you this morning. Until next time, guys, be safe, be smart, behave. I'll catch you later.